I've never hated being single, but I was like very anti guys. My opinions on this, I think, have changed. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. I probably will do it. That's definitely my favourite Christmas I've ever had. What a festive disaster. <laughs> Before we begin, I would like to address the elephant in the room. The brows. So I had my eyebrows this morning, didn't I? Clearly. Han, did you get distracted and leave the dye on for longer than you should have done? You tell me. I know they're too dark. I know they don't match my hair. Don't worry guys, you don't need to tell me. Luckily they're on my face, so I haven't got a look at them, but you have. I apologise. Hopefully by the end of this video they'll blend into my face a bit better. We can only cross our fingers, eh? But anyway guys, welcome back. Happy Christmas. The day is nearly upon us. Have you finished all your Christmas shopping? Well, you better hurry up, my friend. <laughs> I thought today it would be cute to do a little Christmas get ready with me. So this is gonna be my actual routine on Christmas morning. This is the makeup I'm gonna do. This is most likely the hairstyle I'm gonna have and the outfit that I'm gonna wear. I am quite an indecisive person, so we'll have to see if these stay the same, but this is the plan for right now. December 25th, this is what I'm gonna look like. Well, not like this. Hopefully the brows will be a bit lighter. This video is very kindly sponsored by the team over at Vision Direct. I could not be without my contact lenses on Christmas day. I need to see what presents I'm opening. I need to double check that I've got five pigs in blankets on my plate and not four. So I have my lenses here. I'm just gonna pop these in, super simple. But I've actually asked you guys over on Instagram for some questions. So as I do my makeup today, I'm gonna answer your questions all about Christmas, all about general life, really. Also, does it freak anyone else out how I put my lenses in? It's so simple though. I'm like a pro now. I've gotten so used to wearing contact lenses now. I wear them pretty much every day anyway, but especially around Christmas, whether I'm doing a bit of Christmas baking, watching a Christmas movie, or on Christmas day itself, you will never find me in my glasses. I also feel like glasses hide my makeup too much. And I like to do a nice little face of makeup on Christmas day. Nothing too spectacular. I still want to be comfy, but I want to put a bit of eyeshadow on and a bit of winged liner. I know this year hasn't been easy for any of us, but I want to start off on a positive no, I want you to let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that has happened to you this year. There's got to be one thing that you think, actually, that was pretty decent. I'm quite excited for next year as well, though. I'm hoping that next year I'm going to be able to see my friends a lot more, do a little bit of travelling. I want to travel more around the UK next year. The main thing I want to do next year is go to Cornwall with all my family and the dogs. Just a week in Cornwall in the summer would be so lovely. And obviously, when I'm sightseeing, the one thing I'll need is sight. So I will be wearing my contact lenses for everything that I do next year, which is why I'm stocking up now because Vision Direct actually have a really good offer on at the minute. So if you spend £80 on their website, they will give you £20 store credit. So get stocked up, my friends. Get ready for 2021. 1st of January, I want you to be ready for whatever life throws at you. We're all going to have a better year next year. I can feel it in my bones. My psychic powers are telling me we're going to do a complete 180 next year. I'll leave a link to the Vision Direct website in the description down below and if you use the code GET20, that will get you your £20 store credit. Anyway, let's begin the makeup because I need to cover up this boat race. Let's go, girls. So first of all, I'm going to prime my face. I've actually been using, this is going to come as a surprise, the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. When I first got this, I didn't love it. I said it was like a glorified E45 and now I feel a bit guilty about that because I do actually really like it. I do feel like it's quite hydrating. It does prep my face nicely for my makeup. It took me a while to fall in love with it, but I do think I'm gonna rebuy it again. On Christmas day, I want my makeup to be staying all day, so I'm putting a bit of extra primer on. This is, what is this called? It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. It does give you a lovely glow as well. I do really like this. So I'm gonna answer your questions as I'm doing my makeup. It's like we're getting ready together on Christmas morning. I'll be doing this on my own in my bedroom on Christmas morning, so we can all imagine. I've dropped the lid to my primer. You can never go wrong with a bit of setting spray to prime as well. Three primers today. I'm keeping my makeup on all day on Christmas. So the first question, I feel like this one is quite relevant around Christmas, is how to go to social gatherings when you don't drink. Now, I am fairly new to this no drinking thing. If you're unaware, I have stopped drinking. I never drank loads anyway, but since I think March was the last time I had a drink, I decided to go teetotal. And obviously I've not really been to any social gatherings yet where I haven't drunk, so not very experienced in this field right now. And I honestly feel like it's easier to say I don't drink than it is 
is to like only drink a little bit because as soon as you open the gates everyone's like oh come on let's get the shots in whereas if you don't drink at all they're not gonna say that so I think it's actually gonna be easier I never have anything against people who do drink because obviously so many people do and I used to as well but for me the main reason why I stopped drinking was because of my mental health the next day it always made me feel really rubbish the next day and I'm not talking like physical wise obviously everyone feels a bit rough the next day but I mean like for the next couple of days I felt really down the concealer I just used is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Almond I won't be wearing foundation on Christmas day so I'm skipping that step today next up let's whack some bronzer on hula bronzer can't go wrong with it and the next question is how to handle being single around Christmas time when I read this question I was a bit like Oh yeah, because it's just not something I think about, to be honest. Obviously, it would be nice to do like cute Christmassy things in a couple. It's all about mindset and perspective. Being single isn't a bad thing. Being in a relationship isn't a bad thing. They both have their pros and cons. Just focus on the pros, whether you're in either of them, and you'll be fine. It's really not a big deal unless you make it one in your head, so... I think just have a nice Christmas no matter what your situation is. Ah, oh, someone asked, how are you? I always find it really lovely when people ask this. I like to answer it in every Q&A to give you an update. But I'm really good, thank you. Genuinely really am good at the minute. Very excited for Christmas this year. I think my little puppy's first Christmas is gonna be the cutest thing ever. I'm loving the run up to Christmas. I've got most of my Christmas shopping and Christmas wrapping done now. So I'm ready to just chill out, watch the Christmas films, eat the Christmas food. I've been giving myself Sundays as my day off and working. Monday to Saturday and that's working really well for me. Sunday is my favourite day of the week so I'm just enjoying the little things in life right now and that's definitely something I've learned to do more this year and it's something that I want to continue. I've just turned my exposure down on my camera a little bit because I feel like I was a bit too bright. How cute is this little hair thing I've got in today as well? It was from Claire's Accessories. I actually love it. I feel like a little Christmas present with a bow on. I then used the Hoola Light Bronzer to go over the rest of my face. So on like the apples of my cheeks, my chin, my nose. Obviously there's not much I need to do to my eyebrows. <laughs> I think they've done enough. But I am going to use a little bit of Glossier's Brow Flick just on the ends of my brows where they're a little bit more patchy just to fill in the little gaps. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of Benefit's 24 hour brow setter. This is just a clear gel that holds your eyebrows in place. See, the brows look silly when I've got no makeup on, but it's so much easier and quicker to do your brows once you are putting makeup on. I'm here for an eyebrow tint. Anyway, the next question someone has asked is, what's something about Christmas that I don't like that other people do? Honestly, elf on the shelf. I mean, sometimes I think it's funny, but when I have kids, I can't promise there is going to be an elf on the shelf because who can be bothered? Parents, I salute you. I don't know how you come up with the ideas. I don't know how you get the supplies for it in time. I don't know how you remember to do it. I can just imagine myself getting into bed nice and cosy. Once I'm in bed, I'm not getting out. I can imagine snuggling down into my duvet and thinking, oh, the elf. Then you've got to get out of bed to go and move the elf. And then you've got to clean up the mess that you've made from the elf. Like... Oh, no, I'm not doing it. I probably will do it. When I have kids, I think my cold heart will change, but elf on the shelf, man. Where did they even come from? I've forgotten my blusher. I just realized. So my favorite blusher is from Iconic London. It's the sheer blush in the shade Rose Riot. It's a liquid blush. I'm really, oh, I've squeezed it too much. I really, really like this. I always put a little bit on my nose as well. Sometimes even a bit on my top lip. I don't know why I do that. I think I must have seen it on TikTok once. Next question is a bit of a random one, but it is, would you ever be open to being a surrogate? And I mean, I can't fully answer this, I think, until I've had my own child and been pregnant for the first time, because I don't know like how my body's gonna react to it. I've put too much blusher on. It's fine, we'll blend it in. I might really struggle with pregnancy if I can get pregnant, who even knows? But I do really like the idea of being a surrogate. I think it is such, it's literally the best thing you can do for someone is give them a family. In my opinion anyway, it's the best thing. Um, so I would love to, I love the idea of it. Obviously, we just have to see how things go in the future, really. If anyone wants me to be their surrogate. Let's do a little bit of eyeshadow next. So my go-to palette is this one from Zoeva. It's the Coco Blend palette. I like this because it's really simple colours and it's really easy to use and it's really quick as well. So I always use mostly these three colours and that's probably what I'm going to do on Christmas Day because the outfit I have planned right now is neutral colours. First of all, I'm going to use this colour in my crease. Doing my eye makeup used to be my least favourite part of doing my makeup. Up. 
but I actually quite enjoy it now. And like I said, I don't want glasses to be covering up my masterpiece. Masterpiece, can we call it that? A couple of top tips for you guys who wear contact lenses. Wherever I go, I always bring a spare pair with me. They're so easy to just chuck in your bag. In fact, I just keep a spare pair in my everyday handbag, so I always know in the little zip compartment, there's always a pair of contact lenses in there. Just in case plans change and I'm staying out, or maybe if I've taken my lenses out and then I think, oh God, I wish I hadn't done that. Don't worry, you've got a spare pair. Daily lenses are a win for me. And the other thing is, next year when we have got more plans, if you're out for dinner and then you just want to be comfy, maybe you're staying at your mate's house, you can just take your lenses out and throw them away. There's no like maintenance, you haven't got to look after them, you haven't got to think, oh, I've got to put my lenses here so I can wear them again tomorrow. New pair the next day, Bob's your uncle, good to go. Next question is, will you talk about it in your vlogs when you start to move out or keep it private? I will definitely talk about it. When I started the weekly vlogs, it was in lockdown. And to be honest, it was because I thought, what am I going to film? And then I realized I just love watching other people's lives. So I I'm just gonna start doing weekly vlogs and see how it goes. But I have literally fallen in love with weekly vlogging so much that I plan to continue them next year as well. The plan is at the minute to just keep vlogging. I mean, not that I think I will move out next year, but I definitely will be filming the process because how exciting. I love watching moving vlogs and renovation vlogs and things like that, so 100%. Someone else asked, how many kids do I want? Obviously, you don't really know until you have kids, but right now, the ideal would be probably three or four. I forgot to tell you what. I'm doing. I've just used the lightest shade on my inner corners and over my lid. I'm now going to use this shade on the middle of my lid. Someone else asked what's your favourite part of Christmas dinner? I'm going to have to say the roast potatoes. That's always my favourite part of a roast. Although I don't feel it's very Christmassy. Christmas foods I'm saying pigs in blankets. I could eat a plate of pigs in blankets but I also love the starter that we do in our family. So we'll treat ourselves and go to M&S, the posh place. And we'll get a load of their party food and their party food is absolutely top notch. I'm talking duck spring rolls, tiny pizzas, pizza parcels, every flavor of chicken you can imagine. I'll have to make sure I show you our starter on Christmas day. Cause I do think I'm gonna be vlogging Christmas day. I think I've made my mind up and I do want to film it. So I'll show you what we have for a starter, but our starter, Probably the best starter anywhere in the UK on the 25th of December, not gonna lie. Eyeshadow complete, I'm now gonna do my winged eyeliner. I'm usually a brown eyeliner kind of girl these days, but I've run out, so I'm using black today. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. One of the questions actually was, how do you do your winged liner so perfectly? So I will show you how I do it. Thank you, I don't think it's perfect. It's not always, sometimes it goes better than others. But the next question is, are you and Freddie still close? Miss seeing him on your channel. I still absolutely love Fred. We've been friends since we were 11, so this friendship, we're in it for life now. I can't imagine me and Fred would ever fall out about anything. In a lot of ways, we're so similar, but in other ways, we are so different. I haven't seen Fred for a really long time. I think since probably like April, we went for one socially distanced walk in the first lockdown, but since then I've not seen him. Mostly because he's been going through a lot this year. If you follow him on social media, you'll know he obviously went through a breakup and he's been finding himself a lot more. Me and Fred have the kind of friendship where we can just pick up where we left off at any moment in time. Thankfully, he's doing a lot better now. He's seeing more of his friends and stuff like that. He's also traveled a bit this year. He's living his best life. And I think that's kind of the more recent reason why we've not really seen each other because obviously we're both like living this lockdown very differently. Fred is a very sociable person and we're in tier two, so he's not doing anything wrong. He's allowed to see his friends and go for meals and things like that. I just personally am not doing that, so that's why I've not seen Fred recently. But hopefully soon we will be able to see each other. It's just personal preference in it. I would just rather continue keeping my family safe and doing what we've been doing right now. So nothing against Fred at all. Still best mates, still absolutely love the boy. Right, here we go with the wing liner. First of all, I start off with the actual wing. Key is don't pull your eye like this because otherwise it's gonna change shape when you let go. how I did that so I did the wing and then I went this way and then I joined it up this way and I'm now gonna fill it all in and then gonna just neaten up the edges as best I can you just got to try and have a steady hand which I don't have normally but when it comes to wing liner I take it quite seriously then where the wing meets the rest of the line I try and make it a bit of a more smooth curve I mean it's definitely not perfect but it's good enough for me so I'm now going to do exactly the same thing on this eye and then I'll get back to you after the concentration phase is over if I need to neaten it up I'll just use a really small brush and I wet it with like a makeup wipe or something oh the puppy's awake 
Hi, Sunny. She's been down here next to me this whole time. Hi, friends. Happy Christmas. If I ever have to fix a bit of my liner, I just touch it in with concealer. And now obviously where I fixed it, it's not very pointy. So then I'll just do the little point on the end. The pointier, the better. Ta-da! The next thing I'm gonna do is another layer of concealer and powder under my eyes. And also I've got a little spot down here, so on there too. And then this layer I kind of press into my skin. The powder I use under my eyes is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. Someone asked what purple shampoo do I use to keep my blonde hair looking quite white? I've not used it for a while so if you're thinking does she? <laughs> That's why. I use a few different ones actually so I'll link them in the description but I use an Aussie one sometimes. The L'Oreal one smells really good. I think the one with the best results is called be unique and actually get it on Amazon. I've bought that one a few times. I do really, really like it. Someone says, do you wash your hair in the bath or showers only? Important stuff, defo showers only. I hate washing my hair in the bath. And then I'm gonna do a bit of highlight. So the highlighter I've been using at the minute is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter. You squeeze it and it's got a little sponge on the end. This goes down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and obviously along my cheekbones. Someone asked, what TV shows are you watching at the minute? Um, just yesterday I started a programme called Accused, The Trial in the Outback, which is actually a case I've never heard of before. It's basically this family and they claimed that a dingo took their two month old baby and no one ever knows what actually happened to this baby, but there was loads of blood found. I haven't got very far into the series yet, so I don't actually know any more than that. For a little bit of highlight under my brow bone, I use the same highlight that I've used for, this has lasted me so long. It's from Wet n Wild, and it is the ultimate brow highlighter. It's not shimmery or anything like that, it literally just lightens at your brow bone. I love it, I use it every single time I do my makeup. Someone says, random one, but as a landlord, do you allow pets? So, when I first bought the house, I actually didn't allow pets, but it wasn't really a big deal because the first guy that applied for the house, he didn't have pets anyway, so I was like, okay. Now that I have a pet, if this tenant moved out and a new one moved in, I would allow pets, because now I realize how much of a part of the family they are, and to decline someone a house because of a family member, essentially, I think now would be really mean. So yeah, now I would allow pets, but hopefully this tenant won't want to move out. He seems to really, really like the house. Someone says, what are your best and worst Christmas memories? I can't think of a worst Christmas memory. Either I've always been lucky enough to have a lovely Christmas or I've blocked it out. <laughs> but the best Christmas memory, there was one year when I was younger, I think I must have been about nine, and we suddenly had 16 people round our house for Christmas dinner. Oh, the times before Corona, imagine that now. But my best friend and her family had just moved back to England, so they all came round for Christmas dinner. We had quite a lot of our family round that year as well, and we literally had one big long table from one end of our dining room to the other end of our living room. A kid's table was plonked on the end, all different chairs, people were on plastic chairs or dining chairs, boxes, it was that kind of Christmas but it was so lovely, it felt really festive. That's definitely my favourite Christmas I've ever had, so far. Next up is mascara, so I'm going to curl my lashes first and then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, my favourite at the moment. Next question is, what are your opinions and thoughts on Tinder slash dating apps? My opinions on this I think have changed. I admit, this time last year, even earlier this year, I was a bitter singleton. <laughs> I've never hated being single, but I was like very anti-guys. My life this time last year was very different to how it is this year. So that was probably why. So then I was like, I hate Tinder. I could never go on Tinder. Like they're all sleaze bags on there. I think it was more my mindset. I'm still not on any dating apps. I don't plan to be anytime soon, but my mindset on dating apps in general has changed because I now know so many people that have met lovely guys on dating apps. One of my best mates, she's going on Tinder dates like every month. She's always got a story to tell, even if it doesn't go right. Now she met a guy on, I can't remember what dating app it was, Bumble or something, who's really, really lovely. So I think in this day and age, it's the way to go. I can't say I'll never go on dating apps. I probably will use one one day when I'm ready to find someone. Right now is not that time. Purely because I'm just not in the time of my life where I want to be in a relationship. I've almost finished the makeup section of this video. I've just got my lips to go. So the lip liner I'm gonna use is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Lip Cheat Liner in the shade Iconic Nude. It is my favorite one. And the final question for today is, do you have any Christmas traditions that you do with your family? Hang on, I can't talk and do this at the same time. 
And then on Christmas Day, I'm not gonna be wearing a matte lipstick. No, comfy vibes. I'm going for a lip oil. This is my favorite one right now. It's kind of like a mixture between a lip gloss and an oil. So it's from, I've dropped it. It's from Iconic London, and it is the Luster Lip Oil in the shade Queen Bee. But I've just remembered that putting this on with lip liner, not the most convenient for eating. So on Christmas Day, I might just go for the lip oil. We'll see. Anyway, back to the question. Christmas traditions with my family. Every Christmas Eve, we'll sit down and watch a Christmas film. I think most people do that. But we'll get the snacks in, so popcorn, maybe cheese and biscuits, blankets, hot chocolates, you name it. Christmas morning, we get up, stocking time. My mum still does a stocking for me, bless her. And now we've got Sunny. I've done a stocking for Sunny. I know, the dog's got stocking. So we'll probably have a bit of cereal or a slice of toast, bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich is quite popular on a Christmas morning. Then we wait for my brother, his girlfriend, and their dog to arrive. The dog's very important, obviously. Once they've arrived, they arrive about probably like 11 o'clock. Then we'll open the presents under the tree all together. And then after that, we'll have the Christmas dinner probably at about one or two o'clock. And we always watch the Queen's speech together. I don't know why, do people still do that? We always watch it. And in the evening, we have another spread. We have more cheese and biscuits. We have more nibbles, crisps, more party food in the oven. Our Christmas day is about eating, really. That's it. But anyway, the makeup section of this video has finished. I am absolutely starving now. I'm gonna go and have a bit of lunch. And then I'll come back and do my hair and get my outfit on for Christmas day. Wow, I'm ready so early this year. I came back from having lunch and I realized I hated the lip liner. I think it's because the brows are so dark right now. <laughs> These will fade really quickly. I literally only did them this morning. If you can hear the dog, she's ripping up a bit of cardboard on the floor next to me. So apologies for that. But I'm now gonna do my hair. So I think on Christmas day, I might straighten my hair this year. What do I usually do? I either chuck it up or maybe go for curls. But this year I wanna keep things easy. So I'm gonna straighten my hair today. These are my straighteners. They are the GHD Platinum Plus straighteners. They are absolutely beautiful. Let's have a little TikTok transition. <gasps> Ta-da! I cannot wait for these eyebrows to fade. Huge mistakes were made this morning. But anyway, I'm now gonna get changed into the outfit I think I'm gonna wear on Christmas day. It will be something similar anyway. Let me know in the comments down below, on the 25th of December, do your family dress up or glam? Do you stay in pajamas or are you kind of in between? We're an in between kind of family. We would never spend the whole day in our pajamas, but equally, Putting on a dress and tights and getting really glam isn't me either. We're definitely in the middle. Cozy, comfy, but not quite PJ level. So here we go. You ready for another TikTok transition? Here comes the outfit. Ta-da! So not too dissimilar to what I was wearing before, but I'm now wearing this lounge cardboard. Absolutely love this. It's so comfortable. This cardigan is from In The Style. And of course, slippers are a must on Christmas day. So guys, that is everything. My makeup, hair, and the outfit that I'm most likely gonna be wearing on Christmas day this year. I probably will have a bit more fake tan on for the occasion though. And the eyebrows hopefully will have died down by then. What a festive disaster. Don't forget back into lenses after lockdown. Go and check out Vision Direct. There is a link in the description description down below. Get planning your 2021 activities and make sure you've got your lenses ready for it. Also quickly want to say I can completely vouch for Vision Direct. Their customer service is incredible. Next day delivery is always on point and their ordering is really flexible. You don't have to commit to anything. You just order when you need more lenses or you can leave it if you don't. So yeah, go and check them out. I'm super happy I discovered them and I hope you guys are too. But anyway, that is it from me. I believe the next video on my channel will be my Christmas day vlog. So stick around, do subscribe if you want to see that but for now thanks for watching i hope you all have a really lovely christmas and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya merry christmas and a happy new year hopefully